So this is section two, yeah. Look, this one is a Wells Brothers, Ontario, Canada. Can you see? Ontario, Wells Brothers, Canada. A-O-N-T, Ontario, Canada. Hmm. This little, beautiful little set. Hmm. And this, a velvet top, look. Really nice. Just a little box. This is the box that has the key. And um, we've got a working key for it. Fantastic, this one. I love these smaller sets. And we'll have to watch out for that. And this has got two little metal strips in the bottom. I wonder why that is. Hmm. This is the Toga set. Not as old as the other sets. Uh, still the same though. BSW, British Standard Whitworth, yeah. Uh, English. England, look, Toga, England. This is an English set. Pretty complete, pretty complete this one. Markings on the handles. Yeah, markings on the handles, look. Again, again, markings on the handles. This is a complete... Uh, there's no cuckoos. <laughs> the trouble with these sets, sometimes you get a cuckoo in the nest, don't you? That don't belong. Hmm. Again, a plywood top. It shows you the age. They're not as old. And nevertheless, you know, lovely. A lovely box. I'd say that's the, the original box. Is that rosewood or mahogany or what, what sort of wood is that? Hmm. You can see when you examine it, look. It's made out of one big piece or one small piece, one piece of wood and then carve out the middle of it. Much better than them biscuit and plastic fronts that they are now. So do you remember this one? This is English. England. British Tap and Dye Company. Do you see the triangles are different? There. Yeah. British Standard Whitworth. Another, another lovely, not so much of an age on it, but still Whitworth, still um, a good collection to keep. Again, you know, carved out. I'm guessing it'd be a machine that's carved this out or a router or something on a pattern. I bet you these boxes are banged out at a hell of a speed with a bit of plywood on top and a, a router to pull all that out. Hmm. This is a very interesting one. I haven't seen one before or since or afterwards. The, the little four little dies, four little separate dies go in for your size on this one. Yeah. Gunmetal. Gunmetal. And it's amazing how it uh, little uh, little knobs to twiddle and little places to look at markings down there. Look. That is a a beautiful thing. Yeah, I haven't seen um, I haven't seen them before or after. It was a bit of an unusual, really nice one. Hmm. This was the Ace. Hmm. The Ace tap and die. Yeah. Massachusetts, USA. Blimey. I was looking at one of the audit channels one day and and I the one of the DJ audits, one of those, and I think he was like in a workshop. And he happened to look in a skip and there was a whole load of these in a skip. And he he, he didn't know I was watching. But the he did say, look, ace taps and dies that were in the skip. So because I wanted the little handle. Hmm. Music man's offered to make me a little handle, but no need to. Don't worry. Get that sorted when I need to. But uh, there was a hole, and I was screaming at the television. Oi, don't throw them in the bin. Send them to me. How many of these? It's not even... I was thinking about it the other day. It's not even worth giving to the scrap man the weight that's in these. How easy is it to when you're clearing... How easy of these have been, easy to toss away into the skip. 
we're clearing, we're closing down, we're going bankrupt. And somebody that didn't know or care about them would simply throw them away, wouldn't they? Yeah. This one is the ferret. And I've given you a little clue in one of the previous films what might be round the corner if the if the gods are shining on us. Eccles and Pollock, Albury. Mmm. You know I've got a particular soft spot for these box spanners now, don't you? The Apollo. The Apollo Apollo. That's why I chase the Apollo look. Yeah. You know I've got a soft spot for these box spanners, haven't you? I mean, even, you know, we've got the joints, we've got the box, but even putting a detent in the in the box, the, 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 the attention to detail, the quality of some of these boxes is uh, gorgeous. <laughs> and the reliable. Whenever I get an opportunity to uh, open the reliable socket box, um, I always use it, don't I? And it's on the shelves, it's part of the box. So look at this, blimey, absolutely gorgeous and complete. And again, we found the very same box, the very same picture, the very same set in the Buck and Hickman books at 1935, didn't we? Wow, wow, wow. And this is the set, this, and the last arrival. Yeah, we did, we cleaned this a bit, put a bit of wax on it. This again was the British Tap and Dye Company Limited. Do you remember this one? Mm. Again, absolutely beautiful and complete. No cuckoos in this box, no. And the colour, very good, brilliant, absolutely gorgeous, yeah. Well, this is beginning of section number three now. And then this was the Galtina, wasn't it? Galtina, and Galtina. Another box that came along, Whitworth, what are we, We're BSW, yeah, Whitworth. It's another little, some of the boxes, some of the smaller boxes are really sweet. Mm, great to collect because they don't take up so much space. So this is one of the older, with no markings. Again, a Whitworth. Pity, pity they didn't put a date. Wouldn't it make so much life easier for us if they put a date on the tools? Uh, and a bit of a repair on the box. Yeah, this is another, um, another little beauty. So here is the other Aventus box. Hmm. But have you noticed, this one's in millimetres, 11, 10, 11, 12 millimetres. I'd like to suggest, or I'd like to think, look, this, because of what it is, because of the box it's in, this must be, I'm guessing, when uh, one of the first, when they came from Whitworth and started moving into millimetres, I'd like to think this is one of the very first, um, I'm sure there was many people made it. I'm not saying this is the first firm to make it, but uh, this is one of the very first sets of uh, metric that started to come out. Because, mm. you know, looking at the box, looking at the age of the handles, looking, looking at everything, that's one of the first metric sets that they started to produce. So this one is a Wiley and Russell. Can you see? BA sets, Wiley, Wiley and Russell. Hmm. Another one that's pretty rare. Pretty rare trying to get uh, these Wiley and Russell. Greenfield, USA. Yeah. So that set is a little Wiley and Russell. And how has that little handle that fits in there stayed in the box and survived for so long without getting lost? Wow, wow, wow. Again, two planks. They've carved out the bottom and the top to make everything fit on this one. 
And this is the last and the third Aventus set. This is handle number three, look. Look at this again, got the little rod that sticks through the top there. Lovely little sweet Aventus set. This is a Wells Brothers USA, Massachusetts USA foam top. Which sort of tells you it's a, a, um, a Wells Brothers, a, a green, a little giant set. Look, little giant set on the handle. Little giant down here. This is a lovely and the, the quality the quality and the finish on the box they've um they, you can tell the difference that they've um, uh, with the green fields the little giants they they stand out you know hmm you might remember this box this box has had the repair on it had a new side made and glued in pratt and whitney <laughs> i think if, it, if ever i started to um part with any of them I'd say this is one of the first ones that would go out the door. It would go out the door on fire. Going out the door on fire backwards, wouldn't it? This one. This is a Pratt and Whitney. Wow. Um, what um, Pratt Whitney? What's that? What? Um, that's got to be a BA, hasn't it? Um, can't quite see. Pratt and Whitney. Pratt and Whitney. Look at the look at the sizes on them. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. So I think if ever if ever I started to part with all of these, that one surely is gonna be the first one that goes out the door. Yeah. Just a little sweet little box, gorgeous, gorgeous. Mm, but I've got to be very careful because it's beginning to move around. Mm. So you may have seen this box on the shelf. This is just where I keep my little um, Williams little spanner sets whenever I come across them. Um, I don't know if the, the, the cases are relevant whether somebody's been on holiday and you just buy a little set of spanners, I don't know. The cases may be, belong to something else. But, um, yeah, Terry, I keep saying with Terry's, is this is Williams, this is Ter Terry's. This is a little set of Terry's little spanners that I've got here. Hmm, so I keep them in that box there. Like that. Well, this is the other Presto set that came in. Um, we've got to find an handle. We haven't found an handle yet. Uh, but another lovely Eastbrook, yeah, all card. Easterbrook all card, Presto, Sheffield, England. Hmm, that's a set to be worked on, that is. This little culprit here, <laughs> this is, do you know, what do you say, your first love? This is what started it all off. I bought this one. I don't know why I bought it. But of course, you know my motto. If you've got one, you've got to have two. And if you've got two, you've got to have four. And if you've got four, you've got to have eight. If you've got eight, you've got to have 16. And 16 32. <laughs> I'm way past that. I think the last count, I'm on 55. What thread was that? I'm on 55 boxes, last count. Uh, and still going strong. Yeah. Blimey, blimey, blimey. And it's all because of this little box that I got offered and I bought. And that started it all off. Yeah. So this one, it's got a lovely little latch on it. Again, I guess this, I don't know if I'm business or whatever would have bought this at that time i guess this is small enough to be a privately owned one possibly and to see how they've dealt with the box on the back the way they've dealt with it is they've put a you can see they've put like a groove in there in the back of it you see in the down the back just dealt with it in another way but of course it's a little box and there's no big weight is there 
That's another sweet little box. It's you can't walk past. Again, this is a lovely little box with the little handles. You know, if you walk past that on, shall we say, a sales shelf, if you saw that and you opened the box, I don't know what it's saying to you, but uh, what it's saying to me is, pick me, sir, pick me, take me home with you, pick me, pick me. <laughs> you couldn't walk past that, could you? That sweet, lovely little box with handles on it. Hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. It, uh, I couldn't walk past it, so I had to have it. So, East, Easterbrook All Card and Company. There we are. The company was started by John Easterbrook in 1843. And in 1845, they started making taps and dies and many more tools. So, this had to come home with me as well, didn't it? What a beauty. Hmm. Absolute beauty. Sheffield, England. So that's, uh, that's that box. Little, these little boxes are as, uh, as sweet and as desirable as the big boxes. So this is another one. This is a TGG. This is a little giant, but it's the T G T D one. You can just about make it out, aren't you? Greenfield, Massachusetts. Again, the suede, same as Little Giant, isn't it? But this isn't Little Giant, look. This is um, GTD. So is this after Little Giant? Is this when they all became together or is this before Little Giant? Nevertheless, it's a lovely box, isn't it? These little boxes don't half get to you, don't they? Hmm? So here's another sweet little box. What was this one? BAS Limited. Do you see that? BAS Limited? B and Co. Hmm, yeah. That's the only sort of sort of clue on these. Yeah, BA. Did I see USA somewhere? Um, I'm not sure. But again. Another little sweet box that, um, well made quality box that um, had to come home with me. And yes, here we are, another small box. <laughs> yeah, isn't this just somebody's put a bit too much varnish on it, do you think? Yeah, BSW, made in England. It's the same sort of colour, isn't it? A stronghold. Hmm, yeah. So again, another nice little sweet box that uh, had to join the collection. It was sitting on the shelf going, pick me, pick me, take me home. So we're coming towards the end now. Uh, this is the stronghold set. Stronghold box. Um, these are um, pipe pipe threads. Is it? Let's have a look. Let's pull that out. What's it say? Stronghold. Hmm. Yeah. British. But very much. See this? This is a little giant handle. This is. And this is a little giant set. But so, who's copying who? Or are the, is the same firm making it and everybody just puts their name on it? Hmm. And this is one of my first boxes here. But what I like about this one, it's a little giant. It's what put me on to little giant is the smell of this one. You open the box. Oh, and it smells vintage. You know, I don't know what it is. Oil. It doesn't smell rotten anyway. It smells like um, as if I've opened a car of an old Jaguar with leather furniture, that type of thing, with leather interior. This is a uh, little giant, Greenfield, Massachusetts set. Yeah, so that was, that's also one of the, the first ones that came along that started the bug off. Would you start collecting taps and dies if that was your first one? I did. So this is my mixed box. 
you know, little footprint wrenches, a couple of screwdrivers, whatever that was. Um, again, these are conduits. The, the box is made for a set of dies for a conduit. This is BSC, British Standard Conduit. So that's for doing the piping, but I've put everything else in there. Even what I thought was a big screwdriver at the time. I put a hole in the side so it would fit the box. Again, this is a homemade box. This will be a die, this real one too. But anyway, that's what's in that box. We're on the very last section of the boxes now. And you've seen these recently, haven't you? These are the big screwdrivers. The beautiful screwdrivers. Big screw, big box, big screwdrivers. Mm, I'm going to line this box, by the way. I've got the material, I just haven't got round to it yet. And this one, this is the, <laughs> this is the box with the biggest screwdriver in it. <laughs> yeah, the biggest screwdriver. You can't really get it in one shot, can't you? And another little one there and there. Again, a fantastic homemade box. I like to score the tools, but I also like to score the boxes that they come in. Hmm. Obviously not a dovetail or mortise and tenon or box joint, just um nailed box. But nevertheless, a really sweet box. <laughs> it's the very last box and it lives right in the very bottom. And I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. That's how much it sticks out and collects all the rubbish. Um, but I'm not sure we will. Huge, heavy handles. I don't really know There's one of the screwdrivers in there. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Only that they were a matching set and they're a proper size. And the weight of the damn thing. Millwright, that one's a millwright, look. Hmm, that's a handle and a half. And what were these? We did have a name on these, I think, somewhere. But I'm not really sure. I've got them, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. They'll no doubt, because, do you remember these? These screw in and out, don't they? Can you see? These screw in and out, that's the same. Screws in and out, same. I think they're to go with a little set properly. But anyway, that's what's in the big box that sticks out underneath all the time. Massive box, mahoosive. <laughs> that's about it. That's about it for the taps and die sets. We've got a bit of decoration around the sides and a few bits and pieces, you know. And um, did we think this was a Rolls Royce one? We thought something with that. This one's a BSA, look. Can you see, that's a BSA one. And uh, bits and pieces. I still collect my drills and all the rest of it. But you've now seen, I do believe, unless I've missed something, you've now seen all of the, um, of the taps and dies, yeah. But I still collect electrical stuff, my amp meters, all my Bakelite stuff. And of course, the, the tools that go in the box and the monkey wrenches and and the other wrenches and the other wrenches. So there's still loads to collect. But anyway, you've seen all the boxes now. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed that.